Hello everyone, and welcome to another Let's Talk About Films, because I'm still waiting for Hot Toys figures to appear, because they haven't turned up again. So, I thought I'd do Let's Talk About Films, it wasn't, wasn't a vlog, but I thought I'd do something a bit different, well, not different, I've been doing quite a few of these, and this movie I've actually watched in the last week twice, which is unusual for me, but I really enjoyed it, and just wanted to watch it again really, and that is, sort of thing. Here comes the boom with Kevin James. A lot of people, I know a few people who hate Adam Sandler, hate Kevin James just because he does films of Adam Sandler and will not actually give him a chance. And they've seen like his one of his comedy films, Paul Blurt Mallcott. You either love that or you hate that. My hair is sticks up really. Um, you either love that film or you hate it. I enjoy it. It's just a stupid comedy. But I still enjoy it. Here comes a boom. It's a little bit more. It's not serious, but it's a different comedy. Um, down out teacher doesn't care about his students. Has a friend which happens to be the Fonz E, which I think is quite cool. Um, finds out his friend's going to lose his job, so he wants to make help him. So he starts teaching foreign languages. Then learns about mixed fighting and thinks this is the way of making money and then it's his journey of him learning that at his age he's gonna get his ass whooped which he does <laughs> um really really good film uh kevin james is really really good in it from i remember him watching him in king of queens love king of queens i have the whole collection i might have shown off in one of my um video collections i cannot remember now a long while ago um, but I've watched all the King of Queens and I absolutely love love that show uh, really good I've not seen his newer TV series just not had the chance to, and I, I've heard it's meant to be really good but I've not had the chance of seeing it yet but yeah here comes the boom and there's lots of comedy moments of him learning to fight training one of his matches he wins and it is like just you can't win you're too fat you, you're never, never gonna win so most of his training is defence, 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 just get through, doesn't matter if he loses. Ends up winning and then vomiting on someone, which if you watch the trailer I think is in the trailer and it is such a funny scene, it's really, really good. Um, he then kind of gets the children and the kids watch the video of him vomiting on his opponent. The kids then learn to respect him and they like, really enjoy it, love what he's doing for the school. And then... He kind of gets back into teaching the kids. He gets back into teaching, finding a love for, and a passion for, for everything. And one of the guys in the film is also in King of Queens episodes. And it's actually quite nice that sometimes they cross over. I do like that. Uh, don't think, I think he might be related to Kevin James. I'm not sure if he is. Let's, let me know in the comments. I think he is, but I cannot remember. And it's, um, yeah, he, he has a love interest. And, as usual, they always work out. Do they do? Um, but yeah, absolutely brilliant film. The guy who teaches him, I think, is actually a mixed martial artist. And he's scary. You would not want to fight him. He is terrifying. Um, but yeah, lots of matches, lots of fights. What says so seeing him going from when he first started to where it ends up, it's really, really good. It's really, really good fun comedy. Uh, there's a few serious moments in there, which is what you kind of want. And he's just really good. I think when there's one scene when he's training, he gets in a match with two fighters, and you know, I can't fight two fighters. I don't know why I did that. And um, the guy's like, Well, I can't teach a 40 foot year old fighting, so good luck. So he ends up fighting two of them, and then the third one joins him, and it just gets messy. It's really, really fun. Um, is it one of his better films? Yes, I've got all of his. Have I got all of them? Yeah. Uh, this is my favourite. Then Zookeeper. I really love the Zookeeper film. I'll probably do review that at some point. Paul Blurt Mallcott, 1 and 2. 1 I enjoy more than 2. I saw 1 in the cinema. But I never saw the rest. Um, I really want to see Here Comes Boom in the cinema. But I just never happened. I can't remember why. But now I picked up on Blu-ray. 
straight away. But yeah, I'm trying to read this bit. Yeah, he's 42 year old. I always think he's like 38. No, he's 42 in it. But, um, in terms of the ultraviolet, you must everyone have ultraviolet. I think mine is. Yeah, mine ran in 2015, so yeah. Special features on the Blu-ray. Not a lot. Henry Winkler. I can never remember his name. But he played Fonzie. Um, Learning how to fight. Kevin Jane gets schooled. Uh, right, uh, Gino versus Richie. The Three Amigos behind the scenes. Which is probably really good, actually. And the pros meet the film's real MMA, MMA fighters. So, yeah. Actually comes with a nice slipcover. Not not the most exciting, but I do like slip covers. But a film, definitely worth watching. Definitely check out the trailer. If the trailer doesn't get you wanted to go see it, then you won't enjoy the film, I don't think. But I love it. A few other people I know who've actually seen the film really enjoy it too. It's good fun. It, yes, you can show this to your kid. I'd, there's a, some contained sports violence. But if they watch anything on YouTube, you're going to get violence. You're going to watch it, so... I would say it's fun for kids to watch. No, not like really youngsters, they might get upset by some some of it, but it's still really enjoyable. Um, good all round film, really, but to be honest. It's on Amazon Prime. I actually watched it whilst in the bath. I'll admit it. I'm one of these people who has kind of things on in the bath watching stuff, and I may have watched half of it in the bath because <laughs> I just got into it. And then I watched it on the Blu ray on my holiday when I done my back in. But yeah, I love this film. Fantastic. It's one of his best films he's made out there so far. He's been in lots of others, but they're more Adam Sandler films, not just him. He on his own, he's really good in this. And he got into shape. He looked like in the film, he looks amazing. Cause I always remember as Doug Heffernan being the big fat chuck fat fat bloke who everyone makes fun of. But this one he he looks serious. And um actually by Kevin James on Instagram. <laughs> he's funny. I just like watching stuff he does. Absolutely fantastic. Really, really fantastic film by Kevin James. Don't even actually direct it. Who directed it? That's produced by Kevin James. So yay. That's good. Frank. I can't actually pronounce your name. I do apologise. But it's a Happy Madison film that's done by the Adam Sand Production Company. But still. Fantastic. Highly recommend this film. Really, really enjoy it. And definitely worth checking out. Sometimes on Prime, so if you've got Prime, just go watch it. Go now. Well, watch this video, then go. But, um, yeah, absolutely love the film. Um, there's a twist in it, so I'm not going to go into that, because that's a massive, kind of a big spoiler for it, but, yeah, go check out the film. Really enjoyable. I don't know what it's got on Rotten Tomatoes, but I don't really care sometimes what they pick films get reviewed on Rotten Tomatoes, because I may enjoy it, and other people hate it, but it's my opinion. I like the film, I like the film. If I don't, I don't. But guys, thank you for watching. Remember, go check out Amazon Prime and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment. Have you seen this film? What do you think of Kevin James as an actor? Is he funny or is he not? But guys, thank you for watching. I'll catch you all next time. Bye for now.